All right, we've got routes and views working and we can submit forms and have our server react to the incoming data. This is a solid start. Now it's time to talk about middleware. The truth is we've actually already been using a little bit of Express middleware in our routes, but let's go over it in detail. Here, straight from the Express homepage is a description of what this stuff is. Middleware functions are functions that have access to the request object, rec, the response object, res, and the next middleware function in the application's request response cycle. The next middleware function is commonly denoted by a variable named next. Yep, we've talked about all that before. And you'll note that all of our routes have rec res next variables available to them. That's because each route is essentially a bit of middleware. In each of our current cases, we're preparing a response and then sending it, which ends the middleware cycle. But there's no reason you can't chain functions. We'll get to that. Middleware is extremely useful, especially when you're doing things like accessing databases. We're not doing that in this series of tutorials, but we have enough going on that we can do a little bit of data massaging to show how middleware works. Go ahead and open up routes contact.js. Behold all of our glorious routes. We're going to write some new middleware. Above everything except the first two lines, add this code. So, this is pretty goofy middleware, but it gets the point across. For this particular function, instead of router.get or router.post, we're using router.use, which means it'll be triggered by any HTTP request regardless of type. Because we're not providing any path to the function, the router will apply this middleware to every HTTP request to slash contact. Note, it's important that this is at the top. Express middleware, including the routes, runs sequentially. If you move the get request to slash above this middleware, for example, and then refresh slash contact in your browser, you won't get the not opposed console log. Let's actually take a look and see this in operation. Save this file, bring up a terminal, start our server. Oh, I'm actually already running the server in another window. I'm going to kill that. And there we go. Refresh this, it's still working, everything's exciting. Now when we go to slash contact, we can see not a post in our window. And if we post something, we get the body as expected. And then we get another not a post because we've been forwarded to the thanks page. Cool. That next call is also really important. Without it, Express doesn't know to keep on falling down the chain, and it'll just sit there having console logged something without moving on to actually rendering any views or executing any other pieces of middleware. Let's add a second bit of middleware, which we'll only use when there's a post to slash. We can put this below the get to index, but above our existing post to index, right here. We're going to use it to slightly modify our request object before moving on to the next middleware. Here's the code. You'll note that I've switched to ES2015 here so I can use destructuring among other things. That's fine. Express and Node are compatible with newer JavaScript features. You'll also note, I hope, that we're attaching a new property to our rec object. Rec.data contains the same stuff that rec.body does, but we've added a date and time as well. We could just overwrite rec.body, but I prefer a non-destructive approach. So great, we've got rec.data. Now we need to do something with it. We're going to modify the next router, the one that generates the query string. Since it's next in line, and it's also set to respond to slash, it'll be the next function that runs when next is called. It'll also be the last function that runs since it sends a response. Here's how we're changing the code. As you can see, we're using our new data property, and we're adding the date to the query string we're generating. Next, we need to edit the get to slash thanks to be aware of the new item in our query string, like this. Cool, now we're passing everything we need to pass to our view. Last thing we need to do is edit that view to display it, so save this file, and open up slash views slash thanks.js. Sorry, thanks.ejs. Below the your message was received paragraph, add this code. That's it. Save the file, head for localhost 3000 slash contact again,
and submit something. Aha, once again, we've messed up our query string. Back to contact. We need an ampersand in front of name now. Save, back to contact again. And there we go. You'll see that our very ugly date string is now appended. Congrats, you're using middleware. That wraps up the basics of Express. We'll be back next week with a new but related topic. See you then.